Okay, class, today we are going to carry on with the word family of the. But this time we're going to write sentences. In the previous lesson, we learned about words that use the odd sound. Like words like rod and pod and nod. Okay, there are many words that use the odd sound and we covered that in our previous lesson. Now we're going to... Now we're going to look at making sentences using the R, D sound. So if you look at my board here, you can see word family, R, D sentences. Okay. And here I already have two sentences on the board for you. So let's quickly look at the first sentence. I'm going to explain each sentence so that you can understand it a little bit. Then I'm going to read it once or twice, listen and repeat where you can. Okay. It's very important for you to learn to recognize and listen to the words. You're going to listen to the sounds. You're going to see the letters as they build the sentence. Okay. So in this first sentence, before we start, you will notice there are little lines at the top of each sentence, at the top of each line. Those are the brackets mean that this sentence is somebody actually speaking. When you write down when someone speaks, you use the little commas to show that that is a someone speaking. It's speech. Okay. Same as this little guy here on the back. That is the, that is a question mark. That means that person is asking a question. So there should be an answer that follows. Okay. So let's look at the first sentence quickly. Listen as I read. Is it a rod? Again, is it a rod? So this person wants to know. They are holding something. They're holding something. They want to know, is it a rod? So someone has got to answer yes or no depending on what they're actually holding. For me, this is a teaching rod. All right. Okay, so let's read this top sentence one more time. I'm going to read it slowly so that you can listen to each sound as they form the sentence. Okay, so let's go slowly. Is it a rod? Okay, all right. Let's move on to the next sentence. Are you ready? So, there you can see there's the little inverted commas again, which means this part is someone answering. Okay. So they say, yes, I give a nod. So this person is saying, yes, and a nod means the nod is showing. So they say the word yes, and they show it by nodding their head. Okay. Let's read the sentence again. Yes, I give a nod. Okay, and you will see this sentence also has a comma here. So you say yes, pause, I give a nod. And there's a stop, are there? Can you see it there where I'm pointing there? That's a stop, which means that's the end of the sentence. Okay, now listen carefully. I'm going to read it one more time slowly so that you can listen to the sounds as I read it. Okay, try and read with me. Yes, I give a nod. Okay, so let's read that sentence one more time and we'll go back to reading both sentences together because they make a story. Okay, yes, I give a nod. Okay. All right, let's read it all together. Are you ready? Follow with me. Is it a rod? Pause. Yes, I give a nod. Is it a rod? Yes, I give a nod. Okay, so that is the sentences we're going, we're learning today for the ob sound. Did you see? The obba words, can you find them? We have one here. 
That is rod. That's the fishing rod. Shh, 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 shh. Remember the picture? Oh, I don't think I have my picture with me. Ah, <laughs> teacher Michelle lost her picture. No, oh, no, it's gone. Hold on. There you go. There we go. Rod. See, that's a rod. It's a fishing rod. All right. So, and the other word is nod. Nod means you nod your head because they say yes. This is shake your head, nod your head. Okay. So, if you need to, re-watch this lesson one more time or you can go on to your activities. All right. Thank you.